targeted in a dangerous crime. A local woman's fear is overtaken by her motherly instinct. That's the first thing I thought that he was going to take off with my son in the car. Tonight, this mom gives us a glimpse inside the terrifying moment she and her child were carjacked. Good evening. It's a story that makes you wonder, you know, in the same situation. Would I be able to think and act quickly enough to save my child? I hope so. One woman's decision made this a story about a carjacking and not about a missing four-year-old. This happened at a dollar store on Warren Avenue at Granville, just west of the Southfield Freeway. And that is where we find our B.C. O'Neillieri tonight. B.C., first of all, was, were this woman or her child harmed in any way? Carmen, thankfully no one was hurt, and that's mostly because this mother acted so fast. I want you to take a look over here. This is the store. Police have a lead in this case. I want you to take a look right there. There are surveillance cameras outside the store, and one of them caught it all. For this woman's safety, we are concealing her identity. She had very little time to react. I couldn't really see their face. I just saw the gun. That's all I remember seeing. One minute, she and her four year old son are shopping for balloons at this West Side Detroit dollar store. The next, she has her son in her arms and she's running for her life. I'm still shaking up a little bit about it. Carjacked at gunpoint in broad daylight, and the terrifying ordeal was caught on tape. Watch as she and her son leave the store. As soon as she unlocks the car doors, two men wearing black hoodies emerge from an abandoned building. Trouble is headed her way. He approached the driver's side, and that's when he jumped in my car, took the money, and then told me to give him keys. Just like that, the crooks are getting away with her car, and they almost take off with her little boy, too. I was panicking. Like, I didn't know what to think. I really wasn't thinking. The only thing I was thinking about was getting him out the car. And nothing was going to stop her. So I really didn't care about the gun at that point. I just wanted to get my son out. So... I pulled him out the car. A car she depended on is likely long gone, and that's okay. I didn't think they would care to car check me for that type of car, but I found out today it really doesn't matter what kind of car you have. I don't really care about it. As long as I got my stuff, my son, that's all I care about. And the hope is, is that someone out there will recognize either these men or the clothes that they had on and call police. At last check, this mother's car still hasn't been found. Back to you. Now, BC, what are what is are the police saying about this? Is this a recurring problem in that area? Well, I talked to police and I also talked to the woman who owns the store and she tells me that this is the first time in her 19 years of owning this business that something like this has happened out here. So now she is keeping a more watchful eye. And certainly we hope so. Our BC O'Neillieri reporting for us live. Thank you.